In this full-length weather forecast, we're going to be going over the latest updates for the week ahead regarding temperature, precipitation, and severe weather trends, as well as taking a look at a powerful hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's get started with photo of the day, and this time we have this incredible picture sent in from North Macedonia. Clouds like these are indicative of extreme atmospheric instability, so if you ever see these kinds of clouds, then that's your first clue that the storm is most likely a severe one. If you have your own weather pictures that you'd like to share or submit for the next photo of the day, make sure you join our Discord server, which is linked in the description down below. Hurricane Barrel began breaking records on June 30th when it became the earliest Category 4 storm in the Atlantic Basin in recorded history. Not long after it broke another record when it struck the Grenadines as the strongest known hurricane to ever hit those islands. Unfortunately, the storm left behind major destruction, specifically on the island of Karayaku. Not long after emerging over the Southeast Caribbean, the storm continued to intensify, eventually becoming a Category 5. This, of course, broke yet another record, becoming the earliest Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic, beating the previous record once held by Hurricane Emily in 2005. Jamaica is now under hurricane warnings as barrel races towards the area. The National Hurricane Center has warned that life-threatening wind, storm surge, and flooding will become a hazard over the island, especially on Wednesday. The Cayman Islands, Belize, and the Yucatan Peninsula should all be closely monitoring the progress of this storm. Satellite imagery as of Tuesday afternoon quite honestly looks very messy, with weak Atlantic disturbances in the west and storms explosively developing from the Balkans into Russia. As very warm weather continues to be swept into Russia, wet, windy, and gloomy weather will keep filling in from the Atlantic. By Thursday and Friday, I'm watching something else coming in from the west, and we'll get back to that later in this forecast. Now regarding this severe threat in the short term, I made an outlook for today, July 2nd. I expect severe thunderstorms to continue being a threat through this evening from Italy to Russia, with the primary hazards of large hail and damaging wind. The greatest risk for large to very large hail will be in the level 3 risk over the southern Balkans. On Wednesday, I think we're going to see this severe weather threat drop off substantially, but even still, I wouldn't let my guard down in some parts of Italy, Greece, Turkey, and parts of Russia. The next flare-up arrives on Thursday, with Greece and western Turkey seeing much more widespread thunderstorm activity. This will be very beneficial, especially for drought-stricken areas, but don't forget about the risk of flooding, lightning, and hail. As we transition from Thursday into Friday, my attention shifts back to Western Europe as a more organized mass of low pressure moves in. Heavier precipitation and gusty winds will accompany this system, especially over parts of the UK and Ireland into Scandinavia. It's also worth mentioning that another surge of warmth will occur out ahead of this system, which will bring back the risk of strong to potentially severe storms from northern Iberia to central Europe. Despite the fact that severe storms should be overall a bit less widespread and intense this week, I would still watch out for some heavy rain especially in these three areas. First off, parts of Scotland into southern Scandinavia will see multiple rounds of rainfall becoming heavy at times due to a train of Atlantic storms. I wouldn't be surprised if some areas shaded in yellow ended up with 40-50mm to 50 millimeters by the end of the week. A more substantial wave of precipitation along a cold front appears possible by the weekend around the Alps, and thunderstorms from the Balkans all the way to Russia could lead to some flood concerns, and that will generally be a greater concern where you see the darker green and yellow. From July 1st through the 7th, precipitation should be above average from Greece all the way to Russia and the Nordic countries. Other areas to watch for wet weather will be Iceland, Scotland, and even Georgia into eastern Turkey. With all the activity coming from the Atlantic, you may be puzzled to see a lack of green from Iberia to Central Europe, and that's because those Atlantic systems will be accompanied by mainly light to moderate rain. The temperature outlook is quite divided, with cooler than average weather likely across a vast area of Western Europe, while areas further south and east experience warmer weather, especially in the dark red over Western Russia. I think that's going to wrap it up for today, but feel free to leave any questions or comments you may have down below. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this forecast, leaving a like is always appreciated in addition to subscribing if you're interested in seeing more videos. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.